नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो आई एम मेकिंग जस्ट टू रिफ्रेस द नॉलेज ऑफ डेंगी टुडे वी विल सी सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स सो वी कैन अर्ली डायग्नोज द पेशेंट इज गोइंग इन डेंगी सॉक्स सिंड्रोम और डेंगी हेमरेजिक फीवर देर इज सेइंग इन डेंगी दैट व्हेन फीवर इज देयर डेंगी इज नेवर सीरियस सो व्हेन फीवर इज सब्साइडेड और फीवर हैज बीन सब्साइडिंग मीन्स Four to five days of starting fever. Next two days are the days when leakage starts. Means capillary leakage starts. So we will see how we can early diagnose that patient is going in DSS or DHF. We will see points according to signs and symptoms, examination, and laboratory tests. When patient comes to us while taking history, we have to ask whether patient has severe abdominal pain persistent vomiting any visible bleeding from mouth or per rectum or black color stool or patient is lethargic means drowsy not responding well to our command and patient has cool calmy skin so if we will find any of these signs or symptoms we can think that patient may develop dss or dhf during examination if we find patient has weak and rapid pulse so tachycardia with weak pulse patient has narrow pulse pressure pulse pressure means difference between systolic and diastolic blood pressure if this difference is less than 20 patient has developed hypotension yesterday we have examined patient and he had normal blood pressure and today he comes with hypotension or if we do the tonic weight test and if we find more than 20 pateki in one square inch area if we find any of this during examination then we should suspect that patient is going in dss or dhf now we will see how blood reports can help us so in blood report most common and important is cbc so if we suspect that this patient may develop dss or dhf then we should do cbc every 24 hour and what we should see in cbc rapid fall in platelet simultaneously with rapid rise in hematocrit how much more than 20% rise in hematocrit means if patients baseline hematocrit that we have we, we had done previously suppose it was 40 and today it's it has gone up to 48 means 20% increase if more than 20% rise in hematocrit then the patient has developed capillary leakage just fall in platelet is not the warning sign simultaneous rise of hematocrit is most important next sgpt if we find more than 5 times rise from baseline of sgpt then we should suspect that this patient may go in dss or dhf next serum ferritin if on fourth or fifth day we find serum ferritin is more than 1200 then this patient can go in dss or dhf or in usg we find patient has moderate to gross ascites with pleural effusion and patient has liver enlargement more than 2 cm so these are the important points we can keep in our mind while examining patient and we may prevent this catastrophic events like dss and dhf so we can summarize these warning signs by remembering formula of 20 for dengue given by padmasri late dr kk agrawal sir these are after fever subsides if patient's pulse rate increase by more than 20 per minute patient's systolic blood pressure fall more than 20 mm of mercury if we find patient's pulse pressure that is difference between systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure less than 20 mm of mercury rapid fall in platelet count to less than 20000 rapid rise in hematocrit by 
मोर देन ट्वेंटी पटे की इन वन स्क्वेर इच एरिया बाई यूजिंग टॉनिक वेट टेस्ट सो दिस इज द फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ ट्वेंटी दैट कैन गाइड अस टू अर्ली डिटेक्शन ऑफ सीवियर डेंगी वन मोर पॉइंट टू बी एडेड इफ यू फाइंड दैट पेशेंट हैज डेवलप्ड कैपिलरी लीकेज एंड हैज डेवलप्ड सिग्निफिकेंट इंट्रावास्क्युलर डिहाइड्रेशन देन गिव आई वी फ्लूड बोलस दैट इज क्रिस्टलॉइड एन एस और आर एल ट्वेंटी एम एल पर के जी स्टेट मीन्स इफ पेशेंट इज सेवेंटी के जी देन वी शुड गिव वन पॉइंट फाइव लीटर इन फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी मिनिट्स फॉलोड बाय टेन एम एल पर के जी पर आवर टिल पेशेंट पासिस यूरिन एंड वी शुड कंटिन्यू दिस फ्लूड टू एश्योर दैट पेशेंट पासिस यूरिन एवरी फ्यू आवरली टिल नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर थैंक यू